Mariano makes the call with seven deuce. Let's go. Not even suited. And he flops top pair, but it's a dangerous one. He beats nothing that would bet, really. Well, spades. Four, five. But those hands are unlikely given Dylan's play style. Dylan with a great flop for nines, all undercards. That doesn't happen too much. Oh, of course, the seven on the turn. How does Mariano run this good? I need to learn that. How to bink turns. Hit rivers. He's a river specialist, actually. The river man. And there is the raise. It's going to put Dylan all in. There are two flush draws here. There's some combo draws. Four, five suited. I mean, five, six? What are, what are we playing with? Of course, he could have five, six. He's a seven deuce. He's trying to donk around, then he just got there. It's the worst. He is good. You decide. It's up to you. Dylan going to need a nine. Seven deuce. What a is that bounty? What is that, nine? Mariano with his sight set on for? Dylan. Unless he can find a miracle nine one time. He cannot. Moreno getting a little out of line with the A6 suited. Both? It's usually those Cantonese speaking people speak a little bit. Dylan makes the call. L's going to let it go. We're heads up. Oh, never mind. It was a raise. It did not look like a raise. I guess he had more chips in his hand. A four bet from Dylan. And it's, it, I mean, when you look at it, you kind of think, oh, Mariano's priced in. But then you look at how much Dylan has behind. It's like a pot size bet. And you wonder, is Mariano getting the implied odds to hit his hand and get it? Are they deep enough to make this call? I don't know. Oh, right. I forgot. It's Mariano. So he just loves to stop pair. So chapter two in his book is about binking turns. I think chapter three is about rivers. The opening chapter must be about just flopping it. Oh, that's nice. That sure makes it easy. The primary plan is to just flop it. But if you don't, remember, you can always bink a turn or river. Count on it. Oh, oh, oh what? I didn't... <laughs> no! Chapter 2. Now we're in Chapter 2. Mariano has Dylan drawing dead. What a joke. This game's a joke. Don't be a queen. Or an ace. Okay, a king. I saw paint for a second. Oh, brother. Here's the all-in from Mariano. It's going to let Dylan get off the hook. Is it, though? Dylan, who has just been running into the ground all night. I could see myself in Dylan's shoes wanting to just put my foot down. 
This effing guy is sitting here with 200K. Mariano thinks he's so cool. He's just sitting there with 200K, twice as much as the next biggest stack. He's a joke. I can show him right now with my ace queen. He could have just had a spade the whole way, and it's no good now. You got to create the narrative where you're good. That's what Dylan's doing in his head. He doesn't like it. Spread the pot a little bit. There's a lot of money in there. 32,000. Uh, he doesn't have to be right that often. So he, he can make this call and basically think, I'm going to be right one in four times here. And that's about break even. And if you're right one in three times, one in two times, you're printing money. So you can make this call expecting to be wrong most of the time. And it can still be profitable, but... Oh, boy. There it is. Dylan, going to get the bad news. All right, that's it. Why did you have to do that, Mariano? You're bad. You're a bad man, Ron Burgundy. Mariano? You get 200. He gets 200. Okay, okay. Mariano, you get... You have to do that. You get 200 later. Okay. You, you get 200 later from the loser. Yeah. Appreciate you. Oh, he looks so confused. That was weird. I hit the flop and the turn. That's just my life, though. <laughs>